Ladies and gentlemen, next fighting is three rounds in a clan wars battle weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, weighing in under 135 pounds. Fighting out of SPG, presenting David Howard! And his opponent making his way to the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, Weighing in under 135 pounds. Fighting out of the KJ, presenting Ken Bradley! Clan Wars 29, and welcome back to the commentary with Johnny Burroughs. Bantamweight battle between David Howland and Kieran Bresnan, and I'm not going to lie, I love a man who walks out to Johnny Cash. <laughs> I have to say, it's the best song we've played all day. Bantamweight bow here. This promises to be fast and furious. Helen of SVG and Breslin of ZKJ. Your referee, Mr. Decky Larkin. The cage door is closed and we are underway. Wow, fast start. Breslin, look at the rush, Helen there. And Helen under a nice teep and some nice shots. Just to keep Breslin back, make him back off. Make him take a step back there, Johnny. Yes, indeed. Good knees landed there. SPG fighter is, is pouring it on here. That is beautiful work. The little knee changed the angle and landed the straight. The straight, I should say. Apologies, David Helen looking good in there. Breslin looking to be a pressure fighter here, Johnny. He's, but he is walking into shots from Howland. He is, and Howland's footwork is excellent. A again, He's a great angle out of danger again by Howland. Yes. I would say Helen comes from a boxing background. That's a very ferocious job he's been hitting with. I've watched David Helen. I've called David Helen on a good few fights. He's been active in the K1 world as well. Right. But uh, a very experienced young fighter and showcasing them skill sets tonight. Breslin is, is definitely the pressure fighter here. He's definitely fortunate. Fortunately, he wants to get the clinch against the cage and cause damage. But Helen is he's doing very, very well here. Does it come a point that when you're Breslin, Karen Breslin pushing forward, not getting success? And what about David Helen on the reverse where he keeps hitting Breslin coming in, but Breslin keeps walking him down? Yeah, this is the thing. He's, you know, there's no, Breslin needs to begin to take some angles here. Howland is using his footwork, which is, which is very, very good. And he's turning him. He's, be, he's, beginning to, he's beginning to sort of dominate this fight a bit. There's, Tide's definitely turning. Those are good knees coming in from Howland. Beautiful clinch work by Howland. And listen to his coach as well. Again, Chris Fields in the corner. Telling Howland to use his hands. He steps away, obliges, lands a few shots, and then goes straight back to the clinch and landing them big knees. Those are good knees. Howland yeah, trying Breslin's to land an uppercut. very well here to block some of those, but those shots are not. They will take their toll. Breslin looking for that uppercut up through the middle when Howland strikes, but so far it's all David Howland landing the bigger, cleaner strikes. And now it's Howland who's the pressure fighter, leaving Breslin up against the oh, cage. Nice combination there by Howland. Smashing combination by Howland. To his credit, Breslin still coming forward. But as you said, it's allowing Howland to pick his shots and land the better strikes. This is a ferocious pace. You just wonder how, how these two fighters are going to keep this up for the full three rounds. Breslin now leaning his weight on Howland up against the cage in front of Howland's corner here, but. But again, Howland comes back with a good knee to the body. He's finding a home for those knees whenever he throws them. It's good work by Howland. Every opportunity, every time Breslin tries something, he makes him pay with a, a body strike or a big knee. And again, landing oh, some good shots. Breslin, Breslin, landed, Breslin landed a good uppercut and a good left hook there. There was a nice uppercut, as you said, just on the inside as Howland was starting to unleash. But this is a good, interesting fight. And Breslin has a tank for days by the looks of it. Very interesting and very exciting first round by both David Howland and Kieran Breslin. Yes, indeed. An excellent open round, opening round by both fighters, but Breslin's corner, maybe they'll be telling him to be a bit more selective and stop coming forward in straight lines because Howland is creating the angles and landing the cleaner work, Johnny. Yes, indeed. I've been very, very impressed with Howland's footwork. Oh, now that was... That's not particularly sportsmanlike. He came in, you felt he came in, the touch gloves but threw the big did. left. Yes, and he had motion the touch gloves at the start. Don't like that. 
Howland working his way for the trip Brilliant. and gets really, it. Really, really nice work by Howland. Let's see what How Howland's had brilliant stand up so far. Let's see what he's got on the ground now. And again, just in front of Howland's corner. We've emphasized how important that is all night here at Clam Wars 29. And he's been listening to the instruction of both his coaches there, David Howland. Breslin does well to tie it back up into guard. Breslin's doing well here, but... Looking for an arm. He is. Maybe he's a triangle trying, there. He's for a triangle. He's, he's, been, he's maybe locked the triangle in, okay. He's cinched it up just from air angle. We're just seeing the back of the fighters, so we cannot see how Howland. tight this is. Howland looks very relaxed, but... Decky Larkin is what I'm using as a vantage point to see how Decky's looking at it. He's looking closely. He's... Decky Larkin's right on top of it. Helen is pulling the head down. Or sorry, Breslin is pulling Helen's head down. But he keeps readjusting the triangle. Every time he readjusts that. Asking to let go of the cage. Every time he readjusts that, Howland's going to get a bit of air. David Howland, you got to give it to me. Staying in there to get him in position. We're just a little obscured. Looks like he could get out. It's just we can't see from our angle. See, Breslin has, has not taken an, uh, the correct angle on this triangle. Howland may well get out of this, and Breslin's legs are going to be very tired. He's got a slightly better angle. You can tell Howland is trying to rip his head out. He's nearly out of it. He is now. Great work by David Howland. And now Knee on belly here, Johnny Landon. Big, big shots. This, this you, Breslin has to be tired after. The arm is there again for Breslin. The elbow is out. He's safe, though, Johnny. Yes. Good work off his back by Breslin. I'm, I'm surprised and impressed. David Allen, does he need to step away from this? Do you know what he's doing? A knee slice pass here. He's got passed now, and Beautiful basically, he he's looks like he's attempting a dash. Could we have two SBG sword dashes? It's Chris Field's speciality is the dash. Yeah, he's yeah. moving. He's inside control now. He can still for get a guillotine, the guillotine, possibly. Yeah, he's, he's. I get the feeling Howland here would really like a submission. Stretching, stretching that arm, that arm out, out looking for the Kimura. Kimura time. He hasn't got it set up yet. Well done to Breslin for weathering this storm. Ireland appears to have really good heavy, heavy hips and heavy top pressure. As you said though, Johnny, he's paying the tax essentially is, is the fatigue of trying to hold on to that triangle. And David Helen has taken full advantage and finishes the round in a strong position. A nice pat on the stomach there from David Helen to Kieran Breslin to say, well done. This is an excellent, enjoyable fight. Very, again. very good fight. Very good fight. Excellent fight here at Clan Wars 29 in the bantamweight division between David Helen and Kieran Breslin. And you can see the two rounds were very different to one another. They were almost like two separate fights. Two separate fights, but I would have to give both rounds to Howland at this point. Breslin is pressuring here, but I, I would definitely have to give both rounds to Howland. Are you surprised to see Helen work for the takedown here? Do you know what? No, I'm not, because I actually thought he, could, he did very, very well when he got past. You know, he weathered that triangle well. He, mu he must know that Breslin's been tired from that. And he's beginning to, he's beginning to work. Good, good top pressure. What's he need to do to work this position? Just push the legs down and try to well, slide into mount? Basically, basically, he wants to try and slide his right leg through. Breslin's locked up the half guard here. Um, but Harlan is effective. Like, he's effectively in half mount. So he's quite high here. Now, he's, now go, Breslin's trying to do the lockdown. Now, the lockdown position is... An Eddie Bravo favourite, but I have to say I'm not a fan of it. Very well done to Breslin to, to uh, regain guard here. Well, it's not the Howland now to pick up the pace. This is where Helen needs to be careful and watch out for Breslin throwing up them legs again, looking for arms and looking for triangles. Yeah, if, look, if, you're, if you want to be a pressure fighter, you have to be exactly that. Howland has to work the entire length of the round here. You know, Breslin is effectively taking a break here. Those are we. Those are annoying shots, but they're not going to do any difficult. They're not going to stop Howland. So he needs to get past these legs, or at least one of them, and begin to actually effectively do something. Great point, but at this, you've scored a two, a two to nil for Howland at the minute, so this is a perfect scenario here. If, if Howland just stays what he's doing, he's not in danger, and he's going to see his way to a decision victory. Yeah, well, there he goes. He's past one leg. There is an opportunity of sliding his leg through in the for a knee slice pass and he is landing shots I think you got to give credit to the SPG man as well he could be sitting back and doing nothing but he is trying to advance no, he, the position he, he, he wants to finish here he definitely wants to finish um, 
and he's doing well at it, and well done to Breslin for controlling this as well. He's he's shown that he's no slouch in the ground either. And again, David Howland probably wants to to get the the finish as well. He doesn't want to be the only one driving back to Dublin and talking about a decision win. No, no. Great work again, and a great defensive work as well from Breslin in so many ways. He now hasn't let Howland. No, right now. He, is it an opportunity to take the back? Right? He's kept the possession, he's back down to side control. It's good work by Howland. And again, good work by Breslin getting a foot in the hip and beginning to turn. He's got to watch try, it. He's attempting to go for some sort of rubber guard, but it, he needs to watch grabbing his toes like that. There's uh, numerous instances of people grabbing their own toes under pressure and breaking their own ankles. Looks like David Helen is going to get the nod here. A very so competitive fight, but a great three rounds for both fighters, you have to say as well, Johnny. Excellent fight, very, very good, very competitive. Again, credit to the Clan Wars matchmakers. Your judges have scored is 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27. All for your winner, by unanimous decision, fighting out of the ring!